Y'all know the name. What's going on guys, my name is Matinio and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 and today we're going to do another car build video. Now this one's going to be a little bit different. Um, if you saw my last car build video where I basically put as much, uh, as many credits and as much horsepower and torque into that little mini as I possibly could, this one is going to be a little bit different. So this is going to be the first of my time attack builds. What that basically means is I picked out a little point-to-point uh, -point circuit that I'm going to run with these cars once I've upgraded them. But there are going to be rules to this game. So, the maximum PI is 900, so that puts it at the top of S1. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify this car to the top of S1. And then we're going to see what we can do. It's going to have three runs, three goes at it, three bites of the cherry, and we're going to see what we can do with it. And we're going to do this for multiple cars over different things. But first, let's put some let's put some bits and bobbies on this thing. There we go. S1, 828 PI. We're going to install this setup. And then we're going to take it for its first run around the little trap we've got picked out. So this should be fun, I hope. Or it's going to be an, an unmitigated disaster. Okay, so before we jump into the actual uh, the sprint itself, apologies for the noise in the background. A little shit across the road in his moped. I'm going to make him eat the bastard one day. <laughs> okay, the one thing we forgot to do that would again raise the PI is add the race compound tyres. So we're going to add those for 10,000. And that'll be that. Oh, shut up with that moped. Mm. So, there we go, um, we take it up to 852 PI, which is still in S1, and it's 508 brake horsepower. And then we're going to now take it to the circuit for its first, second, and third run. Yeah, forgot I can upgrade the weight saving as well. God damn it. Okay, let's do that. So, this is the track, the Byron Bay Sweeping Forest Sprint. 4.2 miles, we're going to see what we can do, and then... This, this is definitely going to set the bait. This is going to set the pace. The Celica, the 1992 Celica ST175 is going to set the pace. So, let's get it going. Okay, here we go then. We're away. A nice civilized start. No wheel spin. It's all wheel drive, of course. So, that'll make things a lot easier getting out of those corners. Ooh, bit of the back end going away there. Oh, this thing is very responsive, a bit too responsive. Oh, we're a bit wide there. Cut the track just there, just a little bit. Okay, yep, yeah, mistake, some mistakes were made. Well, there is a bit of understeer in this thing. Being all wheel drive, it was expected, but. Over the bridge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what that was. Well, this run is going to be definitely the test run. <laughs> yeah, test run. <laughs> test run. <laughs> Down it into the hairpin. Mailbox. There it 
are coming towards the last corner. Oh. Yeah, messed that up. Okay, so there's the first run done, and it is a 239.605. So, we got a... It was okay. There was a lot of mistakes in there. We can definitely do better. So, we've got another two runs to try and improve on that. And we're going to go straight now to run number two. So, here we go then. Run number two. And again, quite a civilised start. No drama, and we're away. So we've definitely got a lot of time to find, and there's more time in this car. Ooh. Again, there's no tunes on these cars. I'm just upgrading them and doing what I can with them. If it was me, I probably would be shifting a little bit of weight towards the front to hopefully alleviate that that oversteer we get through certain corners and definitely into braking zones. Yep, yeah, messed that one up. Got on the grass, back went a bit. <laughs> back where when it ugh, back went where it wanted to. This run is a hell of a lot cleaner. As we come over the bridge again. Again, a bit of frame rate dropping there, which is really annoying. Oh, a lot of frame rate dropping. Jesus Christ. Apologies for this. Again, I've tried to... I've tried to get rid of much um, of this frame rate dropping as I can through performance, but it's just not having it. So come on, Microsoft Turn 10. You've got to port something to PC, at least do it properly. Jesus, it's not like I'm running that high. Most of the things are on medium. But this is definitely a much quicker run. Cut that last corner. Keep the run to the line nice and straight. And we get a 236.023. So a big chunk of time found there. So I said there was a lot more time in the run. And there definitely was a whole 3.5 seconds near enough. So we've got one more run left. I'm hoping if we can get maybe into the... High 34s. If we can find another second, I'll be very happy with it. But at the moment, 236.023 is the benchmark for the Sleeker GT4 ST185. So let's go again for the final run. Okay, we we didn't. I well, pressed the wrong button, so it looks like we got a wheel spin. So we got a second run wheel spin to go. Let's see if we can get anything decent from it. A Ford Focus ST, fair enough. That's fine. Here we go. 236.023 is the time to beat. And we're away. And that's the ghost of a Dodge Viper just ahead of us. Wow. So here we go. We've got a, a 1992 Toyota Sleeker, a 24-year-old car. Keeping a Dodge Viper behind it. Let's 
There we go. So we're much, we are quicker. We're up on our previous best time. Ran a bit wide through there. Again, definitely that corner is the one that's <laughs> catching us out. But I do love this course, very sweeping, There's some good slow uh, sections as well, some technical sections. And again we're getting frame rate drops, god damn it, every time. Which doesn't make controlling this thing any easier. Oh and it returns. Okay, up the hill through the village. Down to the hairpin. Mailbox. <laughs> That's going to be a thing. We're going to catch that mailbox every single lap we come through on this in whatever car. to the wall there but now we're on to the run to the line and we could get into the 33s holy shit oh it was a 234.048 so ever so close near as makes no difference two full seconds so the best time for the Toyota Celica 234.048 well, yeah, there we go. So um, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy and you'd like to see more, then please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe for more uh, daily content. As I said, there'll be a lot more of these types of videos coming up. Um, I'm going to be doing, the next one is going to be a rally cross build. Something interesting for the rally cross build as we've got more frame rate drops. Uh, but yeah, hit like, hit subscribe, stay cool. And as always, I will catch you on the flip side. Being very annoyed at this game and its frame rate drops. Peace. And hopefully we get a, the rub of the green with the traffic and it doesn't get in our way. Oh shit, that was the bandit. That was the bandit. Oh, there's 108 set. 181! 182!